Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Today I want to show you what I've done so far. Uh, this is my second built PC. This is a mini ITX that I built a couple of weeks ago. And this is uh, a case that I, I like very much, but there are a couple of problems that just I want to discuss today. But before that, uh, I just want to show you what it looks like. My setup, which is a mess. And I have the table here with the PC ready to go. So let's get started. So here are some of the extra stuff and documentation from uh, uh, the box. Uh, so this is the Gigabyte uh, GeForce GTX uh, uh, graphic cards. Um, inside uh, there are some other things. So I just want to tell you the specs of the PC itself and tell you what I have in here. So let me um, open the case and I'll show you what's inside. To access the case, it's very, very easy. So there are just these two buttons. You kind of pop it open, just pull it like this. Okay, and you can open it up. And uh, I'm not sure if you can tell. So here is the case itself with all the different components. Uh, probably too dark for you to see, but uh, let me see if I can shine a light so you can see what's in here. The reason I went with the Inwin A1 Plus, this, this is the case, is because uh, I thought that it would be a good idea. It, you know, it comes with its own PSU and it's small enough to fit under my desk and it's not taking my space. And it was a major mistake. And after I bought it, um, I saw some YouTube videos and they do not recommend it. And I totally agree. I would not recommend this um, uh, PC case at all. But I bought it I uh, for several months ago and then and finally built it. And to my surprise and my son's surprise that this thing is very, very difficult to build. Okay. So first of all, the PSU uh, is right here. This big box it's about I believe it's 650 watt so that's big enough it's not modular and you cannot do much with it so that's one of the major criticism and if you look inside it's a mess the wiring is a mess um, all the things are hanging around I, I thought of doing some um, maintenance or not maintenance wiring management uh, on the wires I just gave up because essentially here's one wire coming out from one end this is the PCI and you connect to the uh, uh, the graphic cards and you cannot even see uh, the board itself because it's hidden inside uh, oh before I go go there let me <laughs> forgot to give you the specs so uh, let me get the sheets so I, uh, I can explain I'll tell you what the specs are all right. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, too quick and jump into the uh, the criticism of the PC case. So let me start over and tell you what's inside here. So the motherboard itself, which is um, hidden inside here, is the Gigabyte Aorus Gaming B5501 Pro AX uh, AM4. So it's uh, for the uh, AMD chip. So the AMD chip, which is right underneath the cooler. It's the AMD Ryzen 7 3700X, um, so it's a pretty uh, good uh, processor. And the processor comes with its own uh, fan, so I don't have to spend extra for the fan. Uh, what else do I have? Uh, the Gigabyte uh, graphic cards. So as I mentioned, there's a um, before Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1660. Uh, so it's the small case, small one, and fits the Mini ITX. Uh, what else do we have? Um, it comes. Uh, I bought the two uh, eight megabyte DDR4 right underneath here. Got the Corsair. Uh, you probably can't see right underneath here. Okay. What else is there? Um, there is the M2 drive right underneath the heatsink. The M2 drive is a W uh, the blue M.2 SSD one gigabyte, and behind the case right here if you open this up there is a samsung one terabyte ssd um 
I'll open that up to, sh to show what's inside uh, later on. Uh, now, the build itself took uh, my son and myself three hours to build or more than because we you know we built a PC before we want to build another one so we are not experienced so we went along and read some documentation and uh, do some uh, research and look where to put in the wires uh, let me show you what's inside I'm not sure you can see okay the motherboard itself is sit, sit right beneath here um, all the wirings, you know, they're pretty self-explanatory, not, not a problem in putting in uh, everything works fine. Um, the fan, right, this fan and the back fan here has LED lights. And we couldn't find where to put in the LEDs on the, B, uh, the motherboard. So currently it's not working. There's also LED on the base right here. And we plug it in and it's not uh, uh, light up. So I need to figure out how to do that, something down the road. Um, the major problem that we have is this AMD uh, fan, which is pretty big. Um, I probably have, you know, thought, didn't think about it. You should have bought an, uh, um, a different one, but it comes with free, so we'll put it in. The problem with the AMD fan, you have to hook it to the uh, I'm not sure as you can see right underneath here um, to be able to cool the Ryzen 7 but there is no space on the top right here to be able to latch it so it took us quite a while to be able to latch from one end and to the other end it took us a while uh, a lot of uh, hard work and finally was able to latch it and right Beneath here, there are two. Um, there's a power unit for the CPU and also the power unit for for the the fan itself, and that in itself is very very difficult to put in right underneath, right here. Let me point to the right here, all the way inside. Um, maybe as the design of the motherboard or design of the PC case, I don't know, but. Um, took us like I say three hours to build this thing and it is not fun so this is the back of the PC and this is all the ports that's available um, so there's a HDMI actually there are two HDMI uh, which I'm not using I'm using the, the graphic cards here okay there are some other ports that I, I'm not using uh, it comes with a Wi-Fi 6 Okay, and it connects, and the connection is pretty good, so I, I, I am amazed how fast it was. Um, there are a bunch of USB ports, USB 3, uh, as you can see, USB 2. Um, there are also uh, uh, the uh, Ethernet port if you want to use it. Um, there is a USB Type-C, okay, which uh, pretty cool in itself. Um, but they, there are no headers for from the motherboard to if you have any uh, USB-C port. I apologize for that, something dropped. Uh, which is fine, I'm not using any USB-C. So on the top itself, there is a uh, Wi-Fi charger. No, wi uh, not Wi-Fi charger, wireless charger from your phone. I could not get it to work. I don't know where the wires is, so I have to double check how to put that in. Um, the power button is on the top here, and there are some USB port. Uh, these are the audio input and output so everything works i turn we turn it on install windows 10 not a problem everything works so this is the right hand side of the pc case and it is very easy to uh, take out you just have to use your hand to unscrew that okay i'm holding my uh, camera and doing this in one hand so bear with me There you go. Um, so this particular case does not take hard drive three and a half inch. It can only take two and a half inch. So the best option is to use a SSD. So the Samsung SSD is here. There is um, there are, you can put two, and this is the um, um, the power uh, from the PSU. So you can attach another with the SSD. Um, 
has a cable that goes into motherboard um, so it's very limited you don't can't expand much on this PC case so that's another uh, bad thing about this if you have another SSD you just need to un uh, I guess unscrew this take out a panel attach another SSD and it's very simple enough but the space itself is very limited you can't um, do much and the cable management like I said it's terrible so if you put all the wires in the front it's a mess so I pulled a lot of the wires on the back panel and put it here because no, nobody see it nobody want to see inside um, I wish I could have uh, show this uh, to someone but I can't because the cable management is horrible so that's basically about it what can I say about this PC case uh, the look itself it's incredible I like the, the look from outside um, the top is white it's it's very very appealing uh, to say the least but to build it you definitely need to plan ahead uh, what components uh, you want to use because it's mini ITX it's the choice is very limited I did do a lot of research and finally uh, up for the Ryzen 7 and the board itself is even limited further so I have the gigabyte uh, right underneath uh, inside the whole thing uh, Again, my major criticism is the the wiring itself. The cable management is horrible. There are wires everywhere. Even if you have RGB lighting uh, uh, inside, let me turn my my light on again. Excuse me. Okay, apologies for that. Um, so even though if you have the, all the RGB lighting lighting inside, you won't be able to see it because uh, the space is so tight and any RGB line will just disappear and will just be hidden um, it's it's really a mess inside this case um, I will try to organize it one day uh, to make it more appealing but currently it works I install Windows 10 not a problem at all um, it's pretty fast uh, also which is cool the case itself like I said it's, it looks really nice but I would not recommend this case to anyone because it is a very very difficult case to build anyway uh, hopefully you this has been um, has been informative and hopefully you enjoy this video if you like i wouldn't mind a subscribe and and hopefully i can post more videos uh, and you know provide other people more information on what to expect uh, when you build something especially pc uh, and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.